Brussels is often seen as a foreign, complicated, hyperactive machine. Every day, 55,000 civil servants make rules called directives. Stacking all these European rules would make a tower as high as the Tower of Pisa, 52 meters high. However, it doesn't challenge the laws of physics. It falls back down on us. Your balls have only one obsession, harmonize everything, but for the general interest. This standardization ruffles our traditions a bit. Traditions which, seen from Brussels, seem secondary. Hence the number of rumors around rigid European directives. This pretzel, for example, is served by this ravishing waitress. Well, for Brussels, this German treat is to be banned, as well as the waitress's cleavage. It is also rumored that Brussels wants to ban churches from ringing their bells. Same goes for our children's favorite chocolate spread. Eurocrats want to ban it. Even this handsome vegetable with its unique form, it said Brussels wants to eradicate it. None of it is true, but everything isn't false either. Let's take a closer look. Although pretzels can be a health hazard, including for the most powerful man on the planet, and it contains 15 times the daily recommended amount of salt, Brussels never wanted to ban them, of course. The infamous chocolate spread, even though it contains 60% sugar and palm oil, Brussels never wanted to ban it. It is but a rumor. What is true, though, is that the Commission did want to implement a flashy colorized chart and food packages to make a clear choice between healthy products and those with too much salt or fat. An idea that did not please the agri-food industry who took care of it. We'll talk about lobbies another time. The rumor regarding a ban on waitresses cleavage, nothing but a rumor. It all started with a directive limiting sun exposure workers. The ban on church bells, not true. People neighboring the church were threatening to take it to the Shocking. European Court of Justice to make sure they could nap quietly. Brussels regulates the curve of vegetables. Well, that is true. To be sold in supermarkets, vegetables must fulfill a precise criteria, but those commercial norms have been scrapped. And our pigs, the idea wasn't to give kids toys to the pigs. It's not true. Pigs just need some straw to play with, otherwise they get stressed and they're prone to self-mutilation. Some of these stories are therefore untrue, although there isn't smoke without fire and maybe Eurocrats who spend their energy doing things that really matter. Because in our globalized world, there are other priorities than straw for pigs. To be useful, Europe has to be small on the small things and big on the big things.